Hey everyone, welcome home. Today I have a four bedroom property to show you. This is the Rothwell by Balway. It's on the Hanwood Park Estate in Barton Seagrave, which is very close to home for me. And these houses start from around 360,000 and I cannot wait to show you around. Come on in. This is an amazing size four bedroom house that you could really easily kind of grow in. So starting with the cloakroom downstairs, everything is accessible. So as you can see from the size, the doorways, even the hallways, the width, which is amazing, something that's really close to my heart personally. So yeah, this is a downstairs cloakroom. And then we move through. So the layout of this house and just everything about it is, I think if you are a first time buyer or you're looking for maybe your first family home, it will tick everything on your list. So welcome to the living space. We have the awesome bay window in here. It's a really good size. The width of the room is great. I mean, I don't need to mention because you know, but how they've dressed the house is beautiful. Now on this estate in Hamworth Park, it's made up of both three and four bedrooms. So the three bedrooms start from around 260, this one 360, and we're also super close to Kettering Town Centre, the train stations. This is my home area, and we spoke in our podcast about being a first time buyer and how lucky we are in the area I live in that there is a lot of houses for first time buyers. So this is a great development and I'm really excited to be showing you around. So this is the living room. We then come through, we have a cupboard in the hallway. There's plenty of storage in this house into what is the open plan living dining space. I told you it would tick all your boxes, but not only that, something that I really do want to mention. I'm not too sure if you can see from where you are, but there is a pod in the garden that they've got set up as kind of an office. What Bellway do offer is to actually run the services out there and they will also put the concrete slab down for you. So then you can just go and have your pod built on top after completion, which I think is an awesome thing. It's always really nice to know that you can add some more square footage to your house and you know have an office out there, get away from everyone. But yeah, living dining space. This is such an amazing space, but not only that, you also have a utility. I especially think in houses of this size, because this is a really good size house, you almost need a utility. I think it would be missing. So you've got the workshop space in here, the sink, I guess just everything you would need really in your utility. And then we come through to the kitchen where we've got ample workspace, a peninsula breakfast bar. So not only have you got kind of dining space in here, you've got an island with seating. There's actually also space in this room. They've got a desk in here. It's really, really large. So as you can see the kitchen now, obviously with kind of new build properties, generally you do have some upgrades in here. You can upgrade the worktop. I've had a look at the range. There are some beautiful ones. I know for me, I'd be super picky with my kitchen. So there's a lot of choice. Over here, we have the oven. You can also upgrade your appliances if you'd like to. And within kind of the different properties, there are different upgrades. And then right here, we have our fridge freezer. It's just, it works. It's one of those layouts in a house that I've walked into and gone, wow, this is kind of everything I would want. It works really, really well. So let me show you upstairs where it just gets even better. I walked upstairs and I was like, wow, I was not expecting this. There's always the fear that when you have a really, really good downstairs in a house, that the upstairs will let it down. And this doesn't. So welcome to one of the bedrooms. Now all of the bedrooms in this house are double bedrooms. Like I said downstairs, it goes without saying they've been dressed really nicely. <laughs> but what I noticed when I walked into this room is firstly how bright it is. All of the bedrooms are super bright, but the house itself just feels really spacious. I grew up in a house with three girls. So I have two sisters, my parents, and I know what it's like to live in a full house. And I just don't think this house would ever feel full. There'd always be somewhere to go. You'd have your own space. So yeah, this is the first bedroom, really great size. And then we have the primary bedroom. Again, just, I was so blown away with the size of this. And it's also really nice to see some features on a new build property. So there's the gorgeous bay window in here. You've also got room to kind of I always say this, to exist in this room as opposed to just sleep in here. So where they've got the dressing table, you could put a sofa if you wanted. There's so much you could do. And wardrobes as well, built-in wardrobes are an optional extra. Flooring also, I would say, 
from experience that I've had talking to people buying new builds, I've not met one person that's been disappointed by adding wardrobes on as an extra. So just if it's something you're considering and you've come across this video because you're trying to figure out if you should or shouldn't, that's kind of what I've been told on it. But in here, we also have an ensuite. Again, it's a really, really good size. And I love the tile choice in here. I think that's really, really cool. And again, spotlights, they are also something that you can change up and add, add on as an extra if you would like. And then let me show you the other bedroom. So this is a four bedroom property. And of course we have the family bathroom. Again, it's an awesome, awesome size. I love kind of having built-in shelves. I mean, this is technically a windowsill, but we all know I'd be filling this with moisturizers, deodorants, everything, <laughs> it would be full. So a really good size. And then we move through, now there is a lot of storage in this property. We've got a cupboard on the stairs here, a cupboard downstairs, and then we come into this room. Like I said, all of the rooms are so bright. It's not a particularly sunny or warm day outside at all, but the light in this room is just unbelievable. And again, as you can see, it is a double room. They're all a really, really good size. The ceilings are a really good height as well. So I just, do you know what I mean when I said, I'm just really, I, I was not expecting it because the downstairs was so impressive. So then we come through to the final bedroom. And again, as you can see, a really good size room and still super bright. I really like how they've got this one decorated. I don't think I'd ever be brave enough to do like an animal print, but I just love how they've done it. So yeah, that is the Rothwell four bedrooms. There is so much in the area. You know, you can get into London in 46 minutes. You can go to Kettering Station or if you want to travel maybe like 10 minutes further, you can go to Bedford and get on the Thames link through into London all the way through to Gatwick. Also in the area, you're actually situated at the best end of Kettering because you can get to Rushton Lake shopping in, oh my gosh, from here, 12 minutes maybe, 13? Depends uh, how, how fast you're driving and on the traffic. But there is so much in the area. We have about six McDonald's in, the, <laughs> in about three mile radius. You know, there's lovely walks to do. It's a semi-rural location. It's my hometown and I do think that there is a lot to offer. Obviously, Bellway have sites all around the UK. They're a very established developer, but for Hammer Park in general, I can really, you know, shout about it from personal experience. So I really hope you've enjoyed this one. Everything Bellway will be linked down below. They also, like I said, have three bedroom properties. So head over to our Instagram if you would like to see the three bedrooms semi-detached. It's at a slightly lower price point, but the space is still really good in the property. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.